All right, I'll give you a quick video on how to remove the roller frame. Or remove the roller frame and get to where you need to go to replace the sprockets on our 941. First thing you want to do is pull this, loosen this cover up, your track adjuster's in there. Make sure it's going to break loose and make sure the piston and all that stuff slides back. If it don't, um, take you a pin and put it in here and back up and it should retract back in. You'll want to rebuild that while you got the roller frame and everything off or if you don't, you're pretty much, you, you just might as well do it. It's one of those things you need to do while it's off. But anyways, back to the point, there's three bolts. You can't see now that I've been using it, but there's three bolts right here. There's three bolts down there once you remove this guard. Once you take this guard off, I think, I can't remember, uh, but I think there's two bolts right here and there's two bolts right here. And then I know there's two, two out here and I think there's four in there uh, up against that frame there. And then if you come, let's see, I might have to crank it up and show you, but down here, there's one bolt and there's those three. And there's shims. There's shims in between the roller frame and the frame of the tractor. Can get off the sun. There's shims in between the roller frame and the frame of the tractor. And you definitely want to hold on to them and keep them on each side because at one point when these were popular they kept up with how to uh, how to shim that and make sure the roller frame's straight and uh, so it doesn't uneven wear on your idler and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it. Um, I had to heat, I had to heat one side up. I couldn't get it off to get it off because the dowel, it's old dowels back here. But um, I mean, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You know, once you, you know, get your track tension backed off, you know, find your master link if it's got one. Hopefully yours has one. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find it and show it to you what it's going to look like. Of course, you might already. There it is right there. This is the master link. You can see the. Kind of see it. It doesn't have bolt holes. It doesn't have where the bolts come through the pad. So. But yeah, it's just. It's called a gator or master link. But that's pretty much it. If you need anything else, just let me know.